guys welcome back to my youtube channel thanks for watching for today's look i'm going to start with applying this shadow shield to prevent any fallout today and i'm going to start using the smudge brush by certify it comes in their eight piece brush kit and i'm going to use this tarte cosmetics eye palette and i'm going in with this very light peachy brown shade i'm going to use this as my transition shade so i'm going to softly blend this all over the curries and it's very easy to use because the eyeshadows from um, the Tarte Cosmetics brand are very soft and creamy and they're very easy to blend in. So I'm just going all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner in my crease. Now I'm going to use this light shade. I have to say it looks slightly darker in this video than it is in person. So I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone and I feel like it also blends in the transition shade which makes those two eyeshadows blend very nicely together. Now I'm going to use this Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy palette and I'm going in with this warm brown shade. Of course you don't need to use this palette for this shade. If you have any single brown shade that looks familiar you can just use that one. Um, but the Tarte Cosmetics palette didn't contain a shade like this. So again I'm going in with that smudge brush by Certify and I'm going to blend this in the crease. And I'm softly focusing a little bit more in my outer V to keep the create cre uh, to keep the crease at the beginning very natural and soft. Now I'm going in with this dark brown shade, and I'm going to use that same smudge brush. I almost use this brush for every step. It's so easy to use, and you can use it for so many application steps. So I'm going to do uh, the same thing as I did with the brown shade, just focusing in my outer V. And also slightly blend this towards the crease to make sure that all the eyeshadows blend together. And if you feel like it looks too harsh at that moment, you can go back in with the lighter brown shades and blend it around the edges. So I'm going back in with that light shade that I also used to highlight my brow bone. And I'm going to softly press this uh, in the inner corner and the beginning of my eyelid. And I use that same smudge brush. I did uh, wipe it on a towel to make sure that there wasn't brown eyeshadow on it anymore. Now I'm going to use this uh, sort of bronzy gold eyeshadow shade and I'm going to apply this in the middle part. And I was slowly building it up because I felt like this eyeshadow didn't have a lot of pigmentation. I was very disappointed to be honest. So I made the brush a little bit wet and I'm just going to softly build it up by going back in with the product and going back in. Just as long as I felt like the pigmentation was pigmented enough. Now I'm going to use this pretty rose gold glitter from Certify. It's one of the best selling glitters. And I can understand because it's very gorgeous. And as you can see I've used a this a lot of times. Because you can use glitter so many times before you will see the bottle become empty. So yes I've used it quite a lot and I'm also going to use the glitter glue from Certify this is how it looks so I applied a tiny amount on my brush and then I'm going to dip it on my eyelids so I noticed because I used the lash glue straight on my brush um, the glitter glue didn't really touch my eyelids so it would have been better if I first applied the glitter glue softly on the eyelid and then go in with the glitters and that what that's what I did afterwards but you know, every time I do an eye look, I learn some new stuff. And yes, I think it's never too late to, to learn new stuff. So I applied quite a lot of that glitter and I removed my shadow shield. And I used the NYC liquid liner. I did this off camera because it will make the video very long. Um, but I think we all know how to create a cat wing. So now for the lower lash line, I'm going in with this bronzy brown shade, which is darker than the shade that I used on my eyelids. And I'm going to use the angled liner brush from the Certify 8 piece brush kit. And I'm going to softly press this underneath the lower lash line. And I think this is a very nice brush because you can really keep it really close towards the lash line. And I'm going to use that bronzy shade using that smudge brush again. And I'm going to blend this underneath the lower lash line. And if you want more intensity, you can make your brush wet again. So now I'm going to use this highlight shade. And I'm going to press this in my inner corner using that angled brush again. So I'm just going to tap my brush and also blend it back and forth. So now I'm going to curl my lashes. I always do this before applying fake eyelashes. 
And of course you need to apply some mascara, just use any mascara that you like. So when I was done applying lashes, I quickly touched up my glitter. I wanted it to be a little bit higher so you can see it when I open my eyes. And yes, it's already the end of the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!